Oh my God, guys, if you are like me, you probably type it one, two, three and try to drag the numbers as you would in a spreadsheet. And of course, it didn't work. Well, after a short Google search without success, I came up with this stupidly simple workaround. It takes literally less than 15 seconds and there is no need for complicated formulas or third-party apps connected to your Notion account. So here we go. Step one is locate the database where you want to add a column of sequential numbers. I'm going to use my Amazon Influencer Program template as an example just for a shameless plug here since it's my latest creation and I'm obsessed with it. So if you're in the program and use Notion, definitely check it out. I'm sure you're gonna love it. And once you are on the database page unit, step two is create a number property column and name it ID or whatever you prefer. Step three is open the Google Sheet and create a sequence of one, two, three. Select the numbers and drag until you reach the desired number for your Notion database. If you don't know which number is that, check the count of pages at the bottom of the database like this. Then step four is copy your sequence and paste it into your ID column in Notion. Here make sure you're not selecting just the text area, but you're selecting the entire thing. You will see it's right when the selection has this little blue box around it. Paste it and that's it. This method works perfectly for what I needed, which was generating a number report before printing it. But yes, there is a catch. Unfortunately, this is a manual approach, meaning the numbers for future pages won't appear automatically, so you will need to continue updating the column manually whenever you add a new page. Or you can repeat the copy-paste process from the Google Sheets again. However, even though this is not automatic, it's still way faster than typing the number sequences one by one in Notion. Also, you avoid the risk of getting duplicated IDs, which could happen when you're using relations and formulas, as I found out during my research on Reddit. For more Notion tips, subscribe, and please leave me a comment if this video made you as happy as I was yesterday when this idea came to my mind. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.